I wanted to go out and visit the grave of Justin Towns Earl. Now, I found out about his passing uh, when he died in August 2020, and I was really saddened by it because I really thought that he was one of the most talented songwriters of today. And I also think that he's really underappreciated in terms of his abilities and just who he was and the stage presence that he had. I would periodically check where he was buried. I didn't know if he would have a grave or not. I wanted to visit it. And then one day, many, many months after he'd passed, it popped up that he was buried in the Earl's Chapel Cemetery. This is next to the town of Jacksonville, Texas. So I went to check it out. The first person who was buried here was Elijah Earl in 1881. And so it was the Earl name. He and his wife founded the chapel and the school and the services that appeared here. And in the cemetery, there's buried many folks. There's pioneers. There's folks who fought for Texas War for Independence. There's folks who fought in the Civil War, World War I and II. And there's those who died in the influenza pandemic of 1918. And to be honest, I see Justin Towns Earl as a casualty of a pandemic that we had in the 2020s. I imagine he was going through dark times. I believe he died from uh, drugs, and it was probably a result of the social isolation and all the difficulty that we were facing at that time. But he had a complicated history. He had drug problems throughout his history, and you can definitely see that in some of his uh, performances in early 2020. So I went out looking for his grave, and uh, I was just kind of hoping I could wander around and find it, hoping that um, there would the location would just kind of pop up and make sense. And eventually I did. You know, I was looking around for the Earl name, and there were many Earls in the cemetery. So I found his, and I paused and took a moment there. There wasn't anything there. I'm not sure if people visit the grave or think about it. But I left a couple guitar picks there. I guess that's kind of ironic because I don't think he really played with guitar picks. He had a unique uh, finger style approach to playing guitar. But that was it. It was very spiritual and I've had his songs pop up on my uh, playlists since then. And every time I do, I think about this visit to his cemetery. But he certainly deserves some recognition. And this was a really nice drive out here. Very peaceful and uh, spiritual. So thanks for checking out this video.